Hi, this is Matt Coddington with Windows Mobile Louisville, and this is a video review of Resco Radio version 2. I'm running Resco Radio on my HTC Touch Pro 2, so as you can see, they've skinned version 2 here nicely to fit onto the WVGA screen. And it's a very finger friendly skin. Uh, you can see there's 14 presets, and so for this review, I've gone and added several presets, some of that I've not even really listened to yet, but just wanted to show that there's 14 and then you see the player down at the bottom. Now if I rotate into landscape mode, which is frequently how I will listen to streaming music when I'm at work, so I just tilt up my screen and this is also going to allow for me to zoom in a little closer so that we can see in the landscape mode. Then you see going from 14 it goes to 9 presets, which is still not a bad deal, so that if you are going to be using it like I do most frequently in the landscape mode, then choose your top nine presets accordingly so that they'll still show when you're in this mode. Not that it's hard to go down to all stations and choose uh, from the very finger friendly menu of the variety of stations that they have. They update this database quite regularly of the stations, the preset stations that they have. So for instance if I go to uh, one that I like to use a lot, Soma FM, then you can see that there's numerous stations that are in there in Soma, and if for some reason if a station is added, deleted, changed, whatever the case might be, then they're going to update that database accordingly. And up near the top you can see there's favorites as well as my radios. The favorites, any of these, if I go to, say just the country here for a moment, and if I tap and hold on it, then I can add it to favorites, and now when I go back, then it's going to be added along with the others that I've added to the favorites. So again, so that when you're out at the player, and if you didn't have it in the preset, you can access those favorites or those other stations fairly easily. <clears throat> Speaking of adding a station, I'll show how that you can import a station. Once you're out here to the stations list, where it says new down here, I'll go to new, and then you can import a file, or you could add a new radio. I'll go to new radio for a moment, and you'll see that you could end up entering in, you could choose a new uh, one of the categories, put in the title, put in the URL, and then when you're done, then that station is going to be added. Uh, the only um, caveat to that is make sure that it's a station that is supported by the device. I've learned that where I've tried to add a station and realized that that particular stream was not supported by Pocket Radio. Now, if I go again to New and say Import, I'll show how I can bring in a PLS file. You see it says to get an M3U or a PLS file, you just go to Radio's web page and save the <coughs> target as. So I did that for a station from Shoutcast. So I'm going to go to my storage card where I saved this and not right folder there. Let's go back to storage card and my documents. There it is, Tri Rock Radio. And so now if I go back to my radios, there's Tri Rock Radio. You'll see that it doesn't have it's grayed out for the, the bit rate, but I can go on into the settings here, go into the properties, and I can make some adjustments. So it's in the my radios section and the title is Tri Rock Radio. If I want to <clears throat> give it a name for a preset, then I put it in the short title. So I'm going to say short title is just rock and the format I know is MP3 and the bit rate I know is a 128 and I just happen to know that. Now in the comments too I could go ahead down in the comments and say I'll put Matt Rock just for the fun of it. Just say Matt Rock now I'm done. So now you see it says Matt Rock down in the comments and has the 128 bit rate. Now if I go on out to the presets and I say okay now I want to just take this one and I'm going to tap and hold I can choose from any of the lists. I'm going to go to my radios and add the Tri Rock. Now you see it just says Rock and now when I hit play then it's connecting and voila! Another cool thing with this is that while a station is playing, that you can um, hit the record button. Show you. you can see record as well as display off are down there at the bottom. And it will record the stream. And you have the choice through the menu settings of saving wherever you might want to save. And obviously, I choose storage card. So I'll show as an example. I'll just do uh, this is a preset that I have this NOAA weather radio for Louisville. I always like having this on any of these streaming stations. Okay. Now I've hit record. Okay, 
and by default it wants to know if you want to name the file you can change that in the settings to say never mind you don't have to remind me for that and it's going to save it to the storage card my documents so now I'll just show you if I go on out to using Resco Explorer here and I'll go out to my storage card my documents then I think it's right here yes here's the stream Interestingly enough, the stream plays back in Windows Media Player. I would have thought they might have somehow made the stream play in their own application, but given the fact that it supports uh, streams, then they aren't set to be playing um, other types of formats. So the recordings will play back in Windows Media Player, or if you have another player that's going to be playing uh, MP3 files as default, then it'll open up that player. That's just a handy feature if you want to be able to record something you're actively listening to, or if you go to the menu, you can choose a scheduler and schedule a time for a recording, as well as the sleep mode is kind of handy as well. The accounts, <clears throat> I didn't see anything in the documentation regarding accounts, but I believe that this has something to do with if you have XM or Sirius or some other kind of membership uh, account for listening to music, then you could put in your information and be able to listen to it. I'm going to confirm that with Resco, and I'll correct that if need be when I find out what that accounts portion is actually for. So I think this is a very finger friendly and solid application. One thing I do wish that they had, it, while you can add stations and you can import files, I wish that there was a search feature to it. That would be wonderful if there was a capability for to actually just search online for stations as well. I know that they've got an extensive database of um, streams to listen to, but it would be nice if you could actually search for some as well, similar to when you're in one of uh, like an RSS podcast type of application and you can search for particular things and it'd be nice to have that feature. It would also be nice if there were some additional formats to be supported, but with any of these players it seems like it's 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 a challenge to be able to support all the different formats that are out there in streaming. And so one application might do some streams and this one does M3U and PLS, which is really a lot of the, the streams that are out there, so no complaints there. Pocket Radio version 2, it's quite solid. This is Matt Coddington with Windows Mobile Louisville.